In this lesson, you will learn how to program a loop. Your learning goal is still to understand how to program a robot, and your daily objective is that you will understand how a loop can simplify a program. Simple is good. So what is a loop? A loop in programming is a sequence of instructions that the processor repeats. It will repeat the instructions. Let's see how this works. I'm going to make the robot move forward a short distance. I don't want it to go very fast, so... And then I want it to turn around. So we are going to make it turn around. I'm going to make it do a spin turn. And turn back to face the way it came. That should work. Now, I wanted to do this six times. So I could do this all over again, or I could do Control C, Control V. Now it's doing it twice. Let's label it first. Second. I can't type it, you know that already. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Okay, so let's just. No, nope, not like that. Okay. So this is the sixth time. So our robot is now going to go back and forth six times. Well, that is annoying to write, and that is also annoying to look at, because in spite of my notes, when you see all those those boxes, it's really hard to get a grasp on what is happening. So, let us try something else. We will use the same two boxes, but we want to repeat it several times. Remember that a loop is a sequence of instructions that the processor repeats. So here is our sequence of instructions, and we want them to repeat. To do this, we are going to go to the flow control blocks, and you will see from my tooltip that this is a loop. So we are going to drag this loop up and attach it to the start button. And then we are going to take both of these. We are going to put them inside the loop. What is going to happen now? is that this is going to repeat forever. It will move forward, turn around, and loop. Move forward, turn around, and loop. Move forward, turn around, and loop. So it's very much easier to see what is happening here. Especially if you add some comments. Okay. However, do we want this to go on forever or until the battery runs out? Usually we don't. So in this program, we did it six times. So in this program, let's do it six times as well. This infinity sign, unlimited, means it'll go on forever. But I can change that. So we can click on that sign. And we don't want to use any of these, but we are going to go down to count. And I'm going to say, do this six times. So this program has the identical effect to this program. It is a lot simpler to look at. It is a lot simpler to understand. Because loops will simplify a program. I'm going to take a video of the robot doing this so that you can see. Okay, without a loop, 
this is what happens. Here is the program with a loop. Okay, I've got caught. So it doesn't stop. Sorry, it kept, it's catching on my tiles. But you get the picture. 